The waterfall still looks great, but there's something wrong. Water levels here have plunged. You're looking at Alexandra Falls and the Hay River in the southern stretches of the Northwest Territories. This is as low as many people can remember seeing it, and water monitoring stations along the river have reported record lows for months. I'm Ollie Williams, the editor at Cabin Radio, which covers the NWT. Normally, huge amounts of water flow north from Alberta and BC into the territory, but even if this looks like a lot of water, it's really nothing compared to a normal year. Look above the Alexandra Falls and you can see there's not much there. It's the same when you look beneath Lady Evelyn Falls to the west on the Kakisa River. Or if you look at nearby McNally Creek, which winds its way north into Great Slave Lake. Or if you look at the Buffalo River, east of Hay River toward Fort Resolution. All of this footage was shot at the end of April and the start of May 2024. These are areas that two years ago were either suffering devastating floods or setting records for high water. It's an incredible change. And that lack of water is part of an extreme drought that's helping to create some of the most intense wildfires the NWT has ever seen. Here's the Hay River, or what's left of it, passing through burn areas southeast of the town. And that's Enterprise, which was badly burned in a wildfire last year in the background. This is the Salt River near Fort Smith, in an area also badly affected by fire. Yellowknife isn't exempt either. This is Yellowknife Bay, famous for its houseboats. Some of them are barely near the water, never mind in it, because levels here are so low. In an ordinary year, most of this would be underwater. And the ice road across the bay opened a month late, then closed a week early for one of its shortest ever seasons. But Yellowknife at least had reasonable snowfall over recent months. The South Slave is worse, the drought exacerbated by a winter with virtually no snow. You can almost cross the Kakisa River without getting wet. And we've heard from elders who've lived here for decades and say the sound of silence from the waterfall all winter was one of the strangest things they've heard. The landscape looks different this spring. Follow our coverage of the drought, the 2024 wildfire season, and the North's changing climate at cabinradio.ca.